Well, UTEP football was back in business today. The Miners are coming off their bye week and are ready to play the last five games of their regular season. Now, these last five games will be very important as the team still needs three more wins in order to become eligible for a bowl game. UTEP had the chance to grab win number four on the season as they hosted Florida Atlantic at the Sun Bowl earlier today. Miners listed as four point underdogs. Can they prove? Vegas wrong. Things uh, will pick off here in the third quarter. Things didn't start off well for the Miners in the uh, second half. Gavin Hardison gets picked off by Teja Young. And Young would go untouched into the end zone. Florida Atlantic goes up 14-6 after this. Next uh, UTEP drive. This is the spark UTEP needed. It's Dion Hankins running. A 72-yard run just gets tripped up right there. If he didn't get tripped up, he's probably in the end zone. But that would end up setting up uh, this big play from Gavin Hardison. Five-yard touchdown run. Miners down 14-13. Excuse me. Uh, looking for two points to tie the game. And uh, Gavin Hardison would uh, find Trent Thompson in the corner. Thompson putting on the boogie shoes. This would tie the game at 14 Oh, then uh, Hardison in the fourth quarter would find El Paso's very own Ray Flores for the touchdown. Miners go up 21-14 after the extra point. But uh, Nikoski Perry, Nikoski Perry uh, would find Austin Evans and Florida Atlantic would uh, pull in within one. All they need is an extra point to tie the game. Here's the opportunity, but UTEP's defense comes up big. Block from UTEP. Praise Amehule with the block, but uh, the ball would knock off his helmet. Amehule still active in the play. Latrez Shelton would pick up the ball and take this all the way to the other end. Penalty gets uh, called on the Miners, though, because Amehule cannot be in the play with his helmet off. So Florida Atlantic gets another chance to, die, to tie the game, and they do that. Easy money. Game tied at 21 apiece, but UTEP would get the ball back with 436 left in the game. They would put together a beautiful drive. There's a good run there by a Dion Hankins, and that would give the opportunity for Gavin Beckley to seal the deal for UTEP. And ladies and gentlemen, I like to call him Gavin Big Game Beckley. Nails the field goal, 27 yards out. UTEP takes a 24-21 win, come back from behind. They show a lot of resolve in the victory to get back to 500. KTSM 9 Sports Director Colin Deaver was on hand for it all and has more from the Sun Bowl. In a game that UTEP absolutely had to have in its fight to get bowl eligible for a second consecutive season, the Miners showed a resolve that we've seen a lot from them over the last month or so, trailing 14-6 to in the third quarter. UTEP fought back to take a 21-14 lead, and then after Florida Atlantic tied the game, the Miners rattled off a 13-play, 65-yard drive, and Gavin Beckley kicked the biggest kick of his life to send the Miners to 4-4 four four with a 24-21 win. What we talked about is they're not flinching, you know, and... Um, no matter what the adversity is, they didn't flinch today, and they stuck together, and they hung in there, and, and uh, had a really good second half. I haven't had, in high school and college, I haven't had a game-winning field goal yet, and finally got the opportunity, and my guys believed in me, and I believed in them, and we executed, so really, really excited and happy. UTEP's defense showed up throughout the game and kept the Miners in it when the offense was struggling, but it was in the second half that UTEP's offense finally awoke, and it was thanks to a couple of El Paso kids. Deion Hankins, the Parkland product, rushed for 138 yards, and Ray Flores caught the go-ahead touchdown in the fourth quarter as the Miners were able to rally. He's been my mentor, not only my mentor, but my brother for real. Uh, he's been you know, leading me along this, this, this way ever since I was a freshman, so he's really someone I look up to. Yeah, I mean, we just have a lot of fight on this team, and... Um, a lot of a lot of competitive people, and you know, just just because we uh, we fall um, in the scoreboard doesn't mean that we're not going to come back and win the game. So uh, we just gonna, we just took it one play at a time and um, and came back. This victory got UTEP back to four and four on the season. They can get above 500 for the first time in 2022 next Saturday with a win over Middle Tennessee. They're hoping that the dramatic way they got it done tonight will help them next week and catapult them throughout the rest of the season. For now, reporting at the Sun Bowl, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports.